Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we're making a peach cobbler with me, A.B. Now listen, you guys been following me, you know that I'm trying to bring, you know, take the mystery out of cooking, you know what I mean? You know, these dishes that we think that we have to go and pay this money for or get somebody at the job to make them or however we do it. Listen, you only need a few ingredients to make a great tasting uh, peach cobbler. Hey, with that being said, you guys, you know what? We just go ahead and break right into this video just so you guys can see just how simple this is to make. All right, let's go. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna open up our cans of sliced peaches, which we have a total of four, and each can is 15 ounces a piece. It's like 15.6 ounces. So after we get our four uh, cans open and we put them into our uh, pot, then we're gonna go ahead and add our uh, white, our white granulated sugar. Now, when you see me adding the sugar, that was one cup, but what I did was I put in half of the contents, you know, at first, like that, and then what I do is I stir it up just so that we don't get any clumps. You just wanna mix it well, and then after that, then you want to pour the remaining uh, sugar into your uh, peaches. Now, after you mix all of your uh, your white sugar and your peaches and the juice together, then you come back with you know you want to come back with your uh, brown sugar, and then the same thing. You know what? I just do half and half just to ensure that we don't get any clumps. And after that, then we start adding our spices. And here you can see, you know, we got ground cinnamon. You know what? We start off with like one teaspoon. And listen, after you make this, this is up to you. You know, you can tailor make it to how you like it. This right here is the combination that I like. You know, it's like the perfect blend of spices and juice and peaches and the cook time is just awesome. And then we come back with the ground nutmeg, you know, one teaspoon. And again, listen, you just want to mix it up. And then, of course, we're going to put it on the stove. Here, I'm using an induction top. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on like a medium. I started out on medium and then adjusted my uh, my heat down to about 200 degrees. So that's somewhere in between low and medium. So we'll just call it a low medium heat. And then you wanna cook it for about 15 minutes. Now, I take pan, and this is the pan that we are gonna make the uh, peach cobbler in. So I take it and I just spray it. You wanna spray the edges, and then you wanna spray, you know, the base. This helps the uh, crust, keeps it from uh, sticking, and it serves as another purpose also. Once we get to crust and we get it ready to line it, what we do is we put it in there and it makes it easier to spread it to the edges. Now here you can see, once we start using our uh, pie crust, you remember I was telling you how easy it is once you uh, spray it, this was like the added advantage. It makes it easy to like stretch and spread the uh, pie crust along the edges. After that, and now you can see why we need two, because it's only going to cover about three quarters of it. It depends on how big your uh, your Pyrex or your, your cobbler pan is. So here again, just opening it up, spreading it out, and you'll see what I'm doing is I'm just like spreading it. It would have been easier if I just would have went and found my uh, rolling pin and just rolled it out and thinned it out a little bit and you can increase your, uh, your surface. And then right here, you know, you just put it in and again, you just want to like make sure it comes up to the edges. And you know, you just, it's almost like working with Play-Doh folks. You know what I mean? Uh, taking us back to our kid days. But there you have it. And that's how it should look right there. Now after cooking your uh, peaches, with your, you know, with your sugars and your spices for 15 minutes, you know, on medium, medium low heat, you go ahead, turn them off, you know, stir them up, and now it's time to go ahead and fill that peach cobbler. Now here's the part where I know your senses should be telling you, telling your brain that you're on your way to creating something amazing. You know, filling your uh, peach cobbler crust, you know, with this uh, peach cobbler cream and the smell, you know, it's just like, I'm telling you, you're talking about overwhelming, that's it. So now it's time to go ahead and put our lattice top. Now here, we open up the other box with those other two uh, ready-made pie crust. Go ahead, spread it out, and then what we're gonna do is, listen, for me, I cut off just the edges, just so I can get a straight line. You know, cause we're getting ready to build that lattice top. And I know I say lattice top, so that's more like a basket weave. But as you're gonna see right here, I just lay them across and lay them on top, hit it with that butter. And that butter, you know, combines them and makes them cook together. And outside of that, listen, nobody can tell that 
cannot tell that you did not, you know, do the basket weave slash lattice top, but you get the same result, the same amazing look, and we go from there. Now here, you know what I'm doing? I'm just, I'm choosing which ones I want to use for which side, you know, because it's a rectangular shape. So of course the longer ones, you know, uh, they listen, they're not going to be completely long enough to go across the long way. So I just take them, you know, I use them like you see, and then whatever I have overlapping, I just go ahead and tear off the ends. And then I just repeat that process all the way down to the right. You know, and if you guys are looking at it on this video, that means I'm coming down. And then we're going to go ahead and go across the other way. And listen, once we get across doing it the long way, again, you're not going to have all of the uh, your strips are not going to be long enough unless we made it homemade. Then you can make your, uh, your pie crust as uh, wide as possible. And then when you cut your lattice strips, it'll work out. But right here, you'll just see, listen, I, bring, I lay them out as far as they go. And then I just tear off a little piece. Remember I had some extra pieces? I just add on to it. It might look funny right now, but once you uh, put it in the oven, and after it gets through baking, you know, after it's being brushed with the butter, I promise you, this right here is going gonna, gonna to tie itself in to each different strip. They're going to cook together, and it's just going to be amazing. Now after you're done, what you want to do is you want to heat up at least, uh, I'm going to say go ahead and get yourself three tablespoons of butter, get yourself a brush, and you want to brush all of your, your pie crust tops, you know what I mean, all of your strips. There it is again, I'm just showing it to you, you know, melt it, you know, all I do is just again, I just brush them, I brush the edges, everywhere that I can see pie crust, I brush them. This is going to help it cook and brown. And listen, hey, you know what, we're going to go ahead and call that, it's the magic. Now after you're done brushing your pie crust, everything is exposed, you want to put it in the oven 350 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. And then when you're done, that's what it should look like right there. Hey, that right there is going to put the aroma in your house and have everybody running like, hey, hurry up, let me cut it. Where's my ice cream? Let's get it in. All right, everybody, what you think about that? Listen, I know it has an awesome, you know, presentation. Look like something that you would buy like at a, at, a, at a bakery, huh? You know, very, very easy to make, you know what I mean? Not a whole lot of ingredients. You got cinnamon, nutmeg, you know, I use some spray pan, pan for my uh, for my pan, you know, my Pyrex, my glass Pyrex right here. You know what I mean? Then we use the pie crust. Now listen, eventually I'm gonna go ahead and make this, you know, from scratch, but I'm just showing you guys, you know, with today's, you know, just to, how busy we are today. You know what I mean? Hey, you're looking for something great. You know what I mean? Nobody was not gonna know that you didn't uh, buy this from the store. If you ask me, this is better than store bought. This say homemade all on it. You know what I mean? Uh, just super easy to make. Got a whole lot of taste. And right now my mouth is watering because the only thing I'm thinking about here, you know, so I can jump into this French vanilla. You know what I mean? Hit a scoop and boom, we finna do that. Hey, with that being said, you know what? I want you guys to leave a comment down below if you didn't know. I just want you to let me know, did you know how simple it was to just make a great peach cobbler? Hey, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and welcome you to my channel. You know what? Thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna ask you guys to just like this video, you know, share it with your friends, and uh, tell everybody come check out Smoking and Grilling with AB. And with that being said, you guys, happy holidays, and I'm out.